Hey guys, this is me. Welcome to my channel. My video is gonna be about how to mod Warhammer 3. Some of you already know. You just find the mode, subscribe to it, and basically go to your mod manager to enable it. And there you go, it's good to go. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more tools that you can use to mod your games. That's gonna definitely improve your, your time efficiency of modding Warhammer 3 and gonna make everything much more comfortable. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's start. So first of all, I guess most of you already know where to find all the modes for the Warhammer 3. It's on Steam Workshop. What you do, for example, this mod, because I play as an Empire right now, so it adds new units. Perfect, that's what I was looking for, more gunpowder. All you just need to do is just subscribe, click this button. It's gonna start to download. Wait until download is complete and you're good to go. After that, you usually, you go to the actual mod manager in a Total War launcher. Click mod manager, it's gonna load all the mods. It takes some time for me because I have a lot of mods. That's how it's gonna look like. The status basically shows if it's up to date, if it's gonna be this yellow mark here, it means the mode is out of date. So be careful enabling these modes, you just have to make sure that they don't actually impact your gameplay or anything, otherwise the game might not start. And basically, yeah, so that's where you find all your mods, it's simple, don't really need to think about a lot of things, but... That's not why I made this video for you guys. I want you guys to have a more comfortable lives modding your games. Therefore, I'm gonna present you the modding tool, the new mod manager that I use and can live without now. It's called Warhammer 3 Mod Manager. I already did the video about this mod manager covering all the functions that this mod manager has, but times go on the mod manager is getting upgraded there's definitely some new stuff that some of you might be interested in i'm just gonna cover it quickly what i covered in my previous video if you guys still want to see that video feel free to do so i'm gonna leave the link where you can download this mod manager underneath my video also don't forget to watch my video for this mod manager that i did a few months ago it's gonna explain to you how to basically download it but it's very simple you just download it then just create a separate folder i did it on my desktop and just basically copy all the files in that folder and there's gonna be an icon that you click and basically it's gonna take you here trust me you guys can do it if still have any questions good just go see my first video about this mod manager it's gonna explain it very simple thing so what do we have here so the new things that been added to this mod manager are these options here so basically it shows you options for all your modes that you downloaded enabled mods for example i'm going to choose one of the presets here for example empire so see how easy it was that's why i'm making this video guys just to show you how convenient it's to have this mod manager because i know for you but for me i started the campaign except for example as a lizardman Play it for two days, okay, I get bored. I want to start the new campaign, for example, for the Empire. Guess what? Okay, you have to download the mods for the Empire. Okay, you did that. But you basically have to disable all the mods that you had for the Lizardman and enable all the mods for the Empire in this mod launcher or the original one that the Total War provides. To make it more convenient for you guys, this mod manager has all the presets so for example, you download mods, they're all going to be all here and all you have to do just basically checkbox all this mod that you want to load for your next campaign, for example as an empire, name your new preset and you're done. So now you have the preset for the empire and whenever you want to go back to your campaign as an empire, you have to just select the preset and it's going to load it for you. And you see, I have multiple presets for different factions. 
and it's very convenient it saves so much time okay so going back to this press it things i explained this in my last video just quickly gonna go over it now if you guys want to add something or remove some mods i want to remove this mod so you just uncheck this box the mod is not gonna be loaded in your next game and all you need to do is just basically replace the preset so you just have to click on whatever preset you want to change and whenever you want to load your game next you just select the preset easy as that this one just deletes it whatever you want to delete it's up to you filter i don't really use it you just dial the name it's gonna find it for you other options this top one speaks for themselves is the mod manager is gonna close when the game starts the mod thumbnail column basically all the thumbnails the pictures that the mod author use to represent their mods on a steam workshop i find it very helpful to find some mods that you're looking for for example if you don't really know the name but you remember the thumbnail mod author column basically is gonna show the mod author's name here all their names don't really need that for me you guys can still use it force to re-download steam workshop is really good for mods just because the mods are being updated automatically so if you're not sure if the mods were updated you just have to press to force re-download and it's basically going to re-download all the mods that needs an update i mean that's been updated the update is available but update wasn't downloaded for some reasons if you're not sure just press this button and you're good to go share mods you can share the mod list for example if you're playing a multiplayer game or you can copy the mod list for example if you want to send someone a clipboard with all your enabled mods that's an interesting new thing create the steam collection so basically this allows you to create your not your own mods but combine modes together on the steam workshop which is a really cool thing for example if you found some mods for example a bunch of union mods for a certain faction that works well together and you want people to have it like why not like there's some enjoyers who likes to have a huge roster of units just like me <laughs> all you have to do just open steam page for creating warhammer 3 collections then you have to copy collection script to clipboard so after you open the steam page for creating the warhammer 3 collection it's gonna take you to this page here so you need to press ctrl shift and i to switch to a console tab then on a console tab you can paste your copied creation script with all the mods and it's gonna look like this i know it can't really see anything but i'm sure it's gonna look like that before doing that make sure just ask the mo mod authors if it's okay to do so and obviously if you're using someone's mod just include them in the description after you copy your copy creation script and press enter this option is gonna pop up you can add the collection you have to press plus or remove all from collections press minus and just need to wait some time until it's gonna load to the creation club simple yes simple and i think it's very nice i'm gonna try it in the future call units custom battle generals for example if you want to test some units one on one without any generals being involved go for it i did some videos using this which was nice skip intro movies speaks for itself last thing on this page is the set folder path when you click on it it's gonna show you the warhammer 3 folder where it was downloaded that's another folder the content folder that's where all your mods are stored useful i think it is Here's the check compatibilities, just basically checks the compatibilities for your mods, if they're compatible, and just to see which files overwrite each other. Very useful thing. Good thing to decrease your load order is just basically merging mods. Just select which ones you want to merge. It's gonna basically create a separate file, which you'll have to enable and yeah you're good to go so another good thing it's gonna tell you which requirements are missing for the modes to run 
and it's gonna look like this missing required mods and whenever you just put your mouse cursor in here it's gonna show you which mods to download in order for the other mods to work you just click on it and this option is gonna pop up so this mod here i already have it and you're gonna have this option here just to enable it it's gonna enable from all your mods that's available and this one here i haven't subscribed to it in steam workshop and you will have this option here subscribe and enable which is very convenient so you don't need to go looking for some certain mods that you need to download for other mods to work you just have to basically click there go here subscribe and enable or just enable and you're good to go very convenient outdated overwriting packs shows you all the mods that's out of date and which uh, files they overwrite it's up to you if you want to use those mods uh i still use some of them and don't really have a problem now continue option here if you're just gonna click here continue on the continue it's gonna load your last save game here it's gonna show you all your saves current saves that you have in your game and good thing is another convenient thing so for example i had 190 mods I decided to get rid of one mod, or not even one, let's say I got, decided to get, get rid of five mods and bunch of mods, right? So I did that, next time I load the game, the game is buggy, sometimes maybe it doesn't load. All you have to do is basically go to your last save where you had those mods and load mods from that save. It's gonna load all the mods from that save and your game is gonna be able to run as it used to which is very convenient too. Another important thing is the load order. For example, the main mod requires to be on the bottom of the patch that translates the new units, for example, and it has to be on top of the actual mod. And what you can do to change the load order for that mod, for example, you see this is five and it's in red. It's because I changed the load order. And what you can do is basically right click on the mod that you want to change the load order to and set the load order. You basically just dial here where you want it to be just and then set the load order. It's going to go there. But you have to know what you're doing. If you're going to right click again here, you can just go to workshop page open in steam the workshop page is gonna open it in on the internet here you can just keep always enabled i went through it in my first video that's one of the ways i just show you a very convenient mod manager another thing i want to talk about people who own the warhammer 3 not on steam but either on epic or xbox pass you can go to sky mods for warhammer 3 there's gonna be some mods not all of them that's available on the steam workshop so you just click download and just have to drag the file to your folder where the mods are located another way how to download the mods from actual steam is do it through the steam cmd i'm gonna leave all the links below my video so you go to this page click here if you own windows if you own linux there's a way you can do it there i don't have linux so we go with windows so click here it's gonna download the file just create a folder i did it on my desktop just double click on the icon it's gonna take you here so all you need to do is just to log in using your username and it's good to go so next thing you need to do is just to go to the steam workshop on your internet to find the mod for example just using the first mod available here copy this page so next you have to go to this website called steam workshop downloader.io here you just copy paste whatever you copied here just press yes all you need to do is just click here to copy it's gonna copy this link this link here automatically it actually shows you all the thing you need to do 
go back to this app here, Steam CMD, and Ctrl V and press enter. It's gonna download this item, it's gonna show where the mod was downloaded. All you have to do is just go to this folder, find it, and put it in your mod folder for the Warhammer 3. That's how you download the mods for the Warhammer 3 if you own it on Epic Games or the Xbox Pass. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment underneath the video. I will try to help you with everything I can. And don't forget to enjoy the modding, guys.